Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and today's video is a video of request. It's one of it's a question that's being asked a lot in one of my videos that I did about six or seven months. And as you can see on the screen, it's to run Chrome OS from a USB drive. Now, uh, one of the main questions is how to get Flash to work properly. Uh, believe it or not, the person that created this build cannot install Flash because it's it's a license issues, and he doesn't want to get sued. So the first thing that you guys want to do is get the latest build, okay? Uh, I'm doing everything with VirtualBox, and again, I'm going to place all these links at the bottom of the description so you guys can start downloading and start installing. First thing that you want to do is get VirtualBox, install that bad boy, it's real easy, it's free. Uh, second thing that you want to do, if you want to do multitasking, hey, download both of them at the same time, whichever one is done. Uh, most likely start with the VirtualBox first because that's what you need installed. Uh, download VirtualBox. Uh, once you got that installed, extract that into a specific location that you want, desktop, download folder, wherever you want, and then you're ready to go. Now the VMware, I'm not really going to focus on VMware because VMware is, if you guys want to know how to do VMware, shoot me in a comment right below and I will do a video for you guys. So let's get started. So I already got the VM Virtual Box uh, Manager up and running. And I already have the extracted version of of the file, so I'm going to show you guys my downloads folder, and there it goes. So let's create a new virtual machine. Let's give it a name. Okay, uh, the type is going to be other, and the version is going to be other unknown. And next, the memory I gave it a gig, but between 512 to two gigs is great. You want to give it a little bit more? Hey, go for it. Hit next, the hard drive, again, you gotta tell it the, that you already have a hard drive file. So use an existing one and just navigate to where that Chrome OS file is at. Hit open, hit create, and you're good to go. Now, I wanna show you guys something because uh, this, this happened to me and most likely is gonna happen to you. So let's troubleshoot it and fix it. So once you start it up, uh, by default, it's gonna want you to do answer three questions. I think one is uh, language, uh, keyboard language, and the other one is your network. By default, it should pick up a network, but for some reason, it wasn't picking up a network. When you hit down the drop down, which I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna go to devices, USB, de USB devices, and I want you know I want my virtual machine to capture my USB mouse. So let's do that, and let's get in here. Okay. So, as you can see, select a network, you hit the drop down, and if you hit the drop down, no network are available. If you don't have a network on your Chrome OS uh, virtual machine or your, your, your physical machine, you can't continue. This continue button would not go anywhere, okay? So, you have to get that up and running. So, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So, what you want to do is you want to shut down your virtual machine, okay? And there's a setting that you need to do within your virtual machine. Go to settings, go to network, you want to go to advanced, and within the adapter type, you want to pick para virtualized network. Okay, pick that, press OK, and let's start this bad boy up. Now we're back. Now, if everything went well, you should have a selected network and should have Ethernet. If you have Ethernet already, right there in that drop down, you're good to go. That means your continue button is enabled. Now, if your continue button is enabled, uh, that means you can continue. So what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to go to my devices because VirtualBox is a little weird with uh, the USB uh, mouse. So I need it to capture my mouse. There you go. Uh, let's hit continue. And once you hit continue, it's going to want you to sign in into your Google account. So I'm going to sign in into my testing Google account that I use to do all these fancy little things. And hit enter. If you enter your email address correctly and your password correctly, you should be signing into your email account using Chrome. So I'm going to pick up uh, a nice little picture display. I like the little frog. Froggy looks cool. And that's it. But the question is, how do you get Flash up and running with Chrome OS? Because uh, when you purchase a Chromebook, uh, it has the Chrome OS, right? It has the operating system in it. It's already uh, pre-built with Flash and all the goodies that you need to, you know, watch a YouTube. So let's say I open up my Chrome OS browser and I go to YouTube.com. 
You would think to yourself, it's already pre-built. I should be able to watch it. No. It's going to give you, you need to upgrade your Adobe Flash Player to watch this video. If you try to click on the video, it's going to basically tell you that the plugin is not there. So, for example, at, so a little, little, little puzzle, I'm not able to see it. So if I go to my channel, you know, and let's say I want to see this video, I want to see my intro, my trailer. It's going to basically say the plugin is not supported, you need the latest Flash Player. Okay, if you go into Chrome colon plugins, you're going to see that, you know, this image doesn't have the Adobe Flash Player plugin. That's why you're not getting it. But if you purchase a Chromebook, by default, it should have it. But because we're trying to test it out and, you know, do cool things with it, again, the guy cannot create the image with Adobe Flash Player, so he doesn't want to get sued. So let's, let me show you how to get that. So let's close this. And what you guys want to do is Control Alt F2. Okay? When you do a Control F, F2, you get a local login. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to bring up my notes. If you guys have been following me from the very beginning, I love taking notes and I always provide my notes for you guys so you guys could have like a cheat sheet. As you see, one of the cheat sheet, uh, the first thing is Control Alt F2, which we already did that. And you need to log in into the local account, which is Chromios. Hit enter, and the password is Face Punch. Now you need to do a sudo su, and the password again is fruit punch, and get into that. Oh, spelled the wrong probably. There we go. Uh, let me clear that out. And the next thing that you want to do is you want to run this command: curl space dash l http whack whack g o o dot g l whack R E X 32 space pipeline bash. Now, if you let me do this, if you actually copy this link, okay, someone was really nice to us and created this bash script that actually takes all the Adobe Flash player information, the MP3, MP4, PDF, Flash compiles them into one shoots it out into our Chrome OS and we have flash that's what we want right guys so let me minimize this flat let me minimize this browser and let me get back into this and let's hit enter now when you hit enter it does all the goodies that you want and let's see what happened did I do it correctly I'm hoping I did it correctly syntax error near unexpected token Uh, HTTP G R Oh, it's Z, not 32. Sorry. Ha <laughs> ha. Make sure that you do it right, guys. Hit enter. And then you should see all the corresponding. It's downloading itself. Uh, I made a boo boo in my part. I actually put 32. It's actually 3Z that you had to put, not 32. Uh, and once everything is completely done, you can reboot your machine which I'm going to show you guys how to reboot it through the command. And we're back. So the machine automatically reboots itself or you know it brings you back into your login if you want to call it. And let's log in. Let's log into this bad boy. Let me log into my account. And yeah, I'm in. I don't know, should I take the proactive approach and reboot my machine? Nah, I'm just going to go for it and test it out. Let's go to Chrome. Your Chrome browser. And let's go to YouTube. Hmm. I don't have that Adobe that Adobe warning. And it says click for sound. So let's see if it plays. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There you go, guys. That is how you get your Flash player up and running. Now, no sound. The no sound is a huge issue. Now, I couldn't figure it out on the virtual machine side because it's it's kind of weird as you can see in my cheat sheet if you see in my cheat sheet right here I do have the command for the known sound stuff you, again you log in into uh, as a root person you do control alt F2 uh, you do the chromios face punch do a pseudo su 
password is face punch and then from there you do the mount remount command and then you need to get into this command right here uh, a L S A cuff which believe it or not that's where all your sound cards I think this will only work for hardware devices like a physical laptop that you're trying to use this virtual machines is a little bit tricky I haven't figured it out yet but if you guys uh, are testing this Chrome OS and because you need the flash player up and running uh, do this do this command right here do this command and shoot me a comment let me know if this works I don't have a physical machine that I could test this out with so I am depending on you guys to provide me feedback uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video request of solving how to get the flash player up and running on Chrome OS and uh, again the whole network issue thing for the virtual box that is the quick fix for it for VMware there's another fix so most likely if you guys are testing this out on uh, VMware workstation shoot me a comment below don't hesitate shoot me a comment below I am willing to do the video for VMware so you guys can know how to get that up and running hopefully you guys enjoy this product review again all the links is going to be at the description part of the video uh, please give me likes and don't forget to subscribe to get the latest and greatest tips and reviews on hardware and software at you know where BJ Tech News Productions and I catch you guys later. Peace out!